How many warden droids are still out there? I told you already! Tell me again. Give me the knife. I want to try. What's going on? Caught ourselves a guard. Thought we'd have a little fun. You captured a guard? That wasn't part of the plan. Come on, no one's gonna miss him in all this. Besides, we learned all sorts of things. We can kill him now if you want. No one saw us grab him. Find him and lock him up somewhere. Make sure he can't hear us. Mom always said to save the crumbs. All right, let's go. Take a look. This is the junk we got from the laboratory. Parkos has been putting things together. The physical defenses aren't enough. We need to deal with that computer. The Scorpio sanctions. Is there something you aren't telling me? I like to learn about the things that attack me. I think the sanctions are a program running in the mega security ward that accesses the rest of the prison. It controls the force field, scanners, all that. Your equipment will only do half the job if the program's still running. My brother didn't have a slicer when he got himself killed. She might be right. I'm really good, but I can't disable the program. We need to distract it. Kanjin? Think you can play the gentleman and get the program to let us inside? Not the way I swing. I can take control of the upper level security droids, override their programming. Then, when we get to the mega security ward, bang. I make the droids set off every alarm in the prison. The Scorpio program gets confused. Gives us a few minutes. At least. Clever little bird. You and the guys could upload my overrides into the droids while Parkos and I work. Then we can go in. How do I upload your controls into the droids? Get close to each droid and use these computer spikes. They'll stop shooting after, not before. When we've got enough set up, I'll give you a call. Cheney, got a signal from the droids. My override's working, but, uh... There's an auto-maintenance facility. Soon as the droids are poured in to charge and repair, my overrides will be wiped. Place needs trashing. Send me coordinates. The defenses are pretty thick. Facility might even be building new wardens, but... Wreck the core machine and it's down. Conceive of the weapons I possess. Things your kind was not permitted to see. Listen, I'm not here to harm you. I just need information. Your weakness is not mine. I find no value in negotiation. When you destroyed the core machine, you unleashed my microdroid swarm. Automata like gnats that can drill through flesh. They will infect your associate, and by the time you reach Mega Security War 23, you will stand alone. What do you think? Nah. Pulse bomb won't do anything against that wall. Leaves us back where we started.
Got control of the droids. They'll set off every alarm on Belsatis, and the Scorpio program won't know where to look. Rest of us were working out the plan for the break-in. Ready as we're gonna be. But there is one thing. What is it, Kanjin? A while back, you made some promises. Said this break-in would make us rich. But we ain't seen no signs. Getting a little tired of taking things on faith. Fair enough. I can't say much right now, but this should tide you over in the meantime. Hey! Now can we get back to work? What's our next step? Mega Security War 23 is in the deep prison. Old underground complex. Say the infrastructure was here way before the Republic. Imperials got the deep prison guarded. So you want to get inside, you find your own way through. I've dealt with their kind before. Don't worry about the Empire's blockade. Once you get to the Mega Security Ward, we'll finish up our tasks and meet up. Walk you through on the comms. I'm on computers. Tarkos is finalizing the map. Kanjin's turning off Republic monitors. Equipment's all set. Handle it careful. Call us when you're at the front door. Break in of the sentry. Remember how this feels. You'll never do a job like it again. Last job this big put me in Bell Savas. I'll get it right this time. She means well. Whatever is in that place, we're gonna know real soon. How can I help you, Ensign? I have a purely professional question for you, sir, if you don't mind my asking. When you lie to a woman over the course of a mission, make her think you're interested, does it bother you? Any reason you're professionally interested? Don't mistake me, I've been involved with plenty of the wrong men, but going in there was always the chance they'd work out. I don't know how I'd handle living one life in the field and another back at home. It must be exhausting. Sometimes it's best to live in the moment. Enjoy it while it lasts. Spoken like a true hedonist. So I should abandon my dreams of romance? That's a question we should talk about over dinner sometime. What do you say? That sounds lovely. For the record, we'd be defying all sorts of military protocols, and I won't be held responsible. We'll just have to risk our careers. Understood, sir. Then we have a lot to look forward to. What's going on, Ensign? Sir, Dr. Loken's been filling in the gaps in my education. He has quite a few stories. Here's what puzzles me. I've always been taught to respect the chain of command, and yet you... How does anyone control a field agent? You're really perturbed by this. Are you that used to pure obedience? Yes, I am. And I don't think that's a bad thing. The Empire expects its operatives to make command decisions from the front line. That doesn't work. All you can do is respond to each situation, right or wrong. And live with the consequences. I don't want to do wrong, sir. My father ignored an edict from the Sith, and instead of facing his punishment, he ran. I won't repeat his mistake. Accidentally. Have a little faith in yourself. If the time comes, you'll make the right call. It's nice to hear you say that, sir. I'll stop troubling you about this. Back to the job, then. You know, sir, the Chiss Defense Force has a term for when a subordinate is entangled with his or her superior officer. It's considered an honorable and tragic state. If discovered, the lower-ranking officer is encouraged to go out in a blaze of glory. You're not with the Defense Force anymore, and I'd rather you not martyr yourself. I was so hoping you'd say that. Of course, according to Imperial naval tradition, a captain is expected to dine with his closest associates, male or female, once a month. It's a show of loyalty. Ensign, it would be my pleasure if you joined me for a meal. I'd enjoy that very much. I won't rush you, but somewhere planet-side would be nice. Oh, there is one other thing, sir, and I don't mean to pry, but there won't be any trouble between you and Kaleo, correct? I'm just not entirely clear on your relationship. I care about Kaleo, but we weren't meant to be. You and I, though. Maybe we have a chance. I'd like that. You need to break it to her, though.
I'm not stupid, Agent. You want the kid? Have a good time. Just don't come crawling back when she hits her limit. Is everything all right? Kaleo's tough. She won't be happy, but she'll get over it. I'm sure she will. I'll give her some space. You smell burnt flesh? That's my fingers. Gun overheated in the last fight. So, all that one-shot kill stuff you do, where'd you learn it? The Empire puts operatives through extensive weapons training. I bet they do. I learned to shoot with a friend of mine. First year out of rat attack, I was a mess. Me and Ams Michelle hooked up on a tramp freighter. She was running too. We stole a holdout blaster and shared it. You said her name was Anne Spichel. Twi'lek name. Think they say it easier. She had gang connections, so one time we were raiding the ship's cargo bay, planning to sell whatever we get. Turns out it was an exchange ship, syndicate stuff. We've just pried open the storage crates when we figure it out. We're dead meat, right? With one holdout blaster, the odds weren't in your favor. Best we can figure. I torch the place while Amsby grabs a dock worker. Then we sit and wait for the exchange. Enforcers finally show. We blame the dock worker and say we came to stop it. Prove her exchange material. They bought it. Risky. But I guess it paid off. Best kind of risk. Amspichel ended up worse off later, but it was great for me. She was fun. We ever run into her, we should get together. Time of the century. At the entrance to Mega Security Ward 23. Status report? I think we're ready here. You should be in a turbo lift. Meant for droids only. Scanners pick up active life signs. Turbo lift shuts down. You need to use that carbonite trap we picked up. Freeze yourself solid, put yourself into hibernation. Cheney will trigger the lift controls. Only way in. I assume I don't stay a block of carbonite. Modify the trap. Should unfreeze you on a timer. from a carbonite womb, you enter my world. Welcome to Mega Security War 23.